Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Burf, and it's Five Thrift Store Friday. Yes, it's Five Thrift Store Friday, the happiest day of the week. And oh, oh my God, guys. I got the biggest gut punch of my life at the Goodwill bins this past week. Something I've been hunting for a very, very long time. Showed up at the bins and I didn't get it. I didn't get it and it it hurts. It still hurts knowing that I had this thing ripped from my hands. Oh man, wait until you guys see it. It is, uh, it's crazy. For all you longtime subscribers, when you see it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. We'll elaborate on it more later. But for right now, I got an epic episode for you because even though I missed out on something epic, I got something epic today as well when I met up with my friend, Teresa. She found something at the thrift store that she ended up giving me a good deal on and uh, I can't wait to show it to you. So, hey, I'm excited. I hope you're excited. If you are, hit that like button and then let's roll out. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey gang, we got another day at the bins. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? Oh, that's a cool first find of the day. I'm digging that. Oh, it's missing the back of it though. I'll dig around a little bit and see if I can find the back. Looky, looky what we got here. I believe that is Street Fighter G.I. Joe. It's always a good day when you can find G.I. Joe at the bins. I just wonder if there's any more. Somebody might have cleaned it all out. Maybe they just missed this one. Maybe this was the only one. I don't really know. This particular bin is cleaned out pretty hard though. We haven't really been doing much filming because there hasn't been a whole lot. I've been just scouring through these bins and I'm not really finding much. There's some old checkers from Milton Bradley. 1970. Damn! Well, it looks like it's a full set. I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up. what this is it's kind of interesting though so i wasn't finding a whole lot at the bins so i decided to mosey on over towards the back of the warehouse to take a peek to see if i could see anything sitting back there that might be coming out that i could maybe get the jump on some other people with and uh wait until you guys see what i saw oh my god i think that might be a my pet monster I'm not 100%, but that looks like the feet of one. Oh man, I want that My Pet Monster. I think it's a My Pet Monster. I'm almost certain it is. But there's so many people here. I don't know if I'm going to get it or not. I'm going to give it a hell of a try though, that's for sure. No holds barred. Okay, so my heart is like racing at this point, And I am just telling myself, you have got to get this you have got to get it you have wanted one of these for years so if you're new to the channel there are only two plushes i have ever wanted to find in a thrift store number one was alf i wanted to find an alf plush in the thrift store from the 1980s and i made that dream come true last year when i was visiting my parents in pennsylvania i found an alf plush the second was a My Pet Monster in no particular order. Those are just the two I wanted. A My Pet Monster. I have never seen a My Pet Monster ever in a thrift store. And here it is at the bins. And I've got an opportunity to get it. So let me tell you what happened. So if you're not familiar with the bins, they make you line up like after they bring the bins out, you're not allowed to touch anything until they yell shop, but they make you line up on a red line. And once everybody's on the red line, they yell shop. It's kind of like a get ready, you know, ready, get set, go sort of situation, but they just yell shop. There's no get ready, no, no ready, get set. It's just shop. <laughs> so we're all lined up on the red line. There's a kid right next to me and uh, I can see he's eyeballing up this My Pet Monster. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. Like, and he's right on top of it. I'm kind of to the side of it. So I don't have a very good angle. 
So the lady yells, shop. I reach in, I grab its legs. He grabs it by the middle of the body and ugh, like turns and twists his whole body. And he rips this thing right out of my hands. And he ended up getting the My Pet Monster. Uh, it was, uh, it was like I said, it was a gut punch, man. I had been wanting one of these. Here it was, here was my opportunity. And I wasn't fast enough and I wasn't strong enough to get it. So he ended up getting it. So take a look at it. Oh, I missed out on him. I missed him. Oh, oh my God. Dude. I'm surprised anyone else knew. Yeah, I was hoping no one else knew. <laughs> and when I saw you line up, I was like, damn. That's awesome, man. Super cool. Hey, man, that's how the cookie crumbles. The bins are savage. And, you know, I'm still a rookie down there, but I'm learning. I'm learning how you do things. I'm sure I'm going to make a lot more mistakes along the way, but. I learned from this particular situation that I need to be faster and much, much more aggressive. So maybe next time, maybe there'll be another one that pops up. You never know. So, all right, guys, we're going to go hit up a goodie wheel. So we're actually going to go into the goodie wheel store and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. We're at another goodie wheel. Oh, yeah. We love the goodie wheel sometimes. When it produces, when it doesn't, we hate the Goody Wheel. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got some vintage toys for your boy. All right, let's see. We were just here yesterday. So I don't know if there's anything new. I was kind of hoping there would be, but it doesn't look like there is. Some sort of... Optimus Prime. That's a decapitated Scooby Doo. And there's a Bumblebee. A bunch of smalls and junk. Nothing significant. There's another little bumblebee. He's kind of a cool one. He's just a little guy. Oh, that army chopper's still here. Like I said, too bad it doesn't have its propellers because it's a really cool chopper, man. I dig it. Busted! Busted at the Goody Wheel, but that's okay because. We got something truly, truly epic coming up just around the corner here. So in just a little bit, we're going to be meeting up with my friend Teresa and I am making a purchase from her. She's giving me a good deal on a couple of figures. One of them is like super rare and I can't wait to show it to you. In the meantime, let's go hit up another thrift store. Let's go hit up old Thrifty Pants, Thrift Giant, see what they got. All right, let's see. What do we got? We got some Woke Buzz spaceships. This is a... Uh rescue hero he's kind of cool i like his colors got some dragons got some jurassic dang i want 3.99 for this guy that's like a 99 cent toy what's this right here oh we got some power rangers he's kind of cool right what do they want for him 5.90 five bucks 4.99 he's from 1995 hmm Man, prices on this dude are all over the place. Anywhere from a dollar twenty-five up to twenty dollars. I don't know. I guess what the dollar twenty-five was an auction, but uh, I don't know if there was anything like broken on them or not. But five bucks. Hmm, I'm not a Power Rangers collector at all. But my friend Travis is. He might be interested in this. Man, these guys were selling for like brand new i think like 20 or 25 bucks at walmart right what four dollars for him oh look at this big dude normally they're selling these for about 20 bucks let's see what they want for him wow 25 25 dollars for him the price on these things have come down though like they used to be you, you couldn't pick them up for less you know on ebay for like 70 80 bucks but i see people buying them now for like 30 on ebay 
but man uh yeah i'm not gonna get them because i've had them a couple of different times and ended up selling them both times all right so the only thing i picked up was this guy this 1995 power ranger so i didn't pick him up for myself i actually got him for my friend travis Travis was in a previous video with me. He came down here for a good old fashioned Texas toy hunt with your boy, Murph. And uh, yeah, we, uh, Travis and I have become good friends and I know that he collects these 1990s Power Rangers. So I thought this would be perfect for him. So, all right, guys, let's go hit up Thrift Shitty, baby. Okay, what do we got? This kind of reminds me of something from He-Man, you know? That's some Jurassic World. Oh, he's like a stomper. That's cool. Man, he's got like, he's made out of rubber and plastic. That's cool, man. I don't see a price tag on them though. I don't know how much they're asking for them. Oh, here we got a big Leo. Oh, look at this thing. Did somebody paint that? Yeah, I think somebody painted that. All right, kids, you know what time it is. It's time to check the glass case. All right. Oh, that Yosemite Sam is still here. But other than that, nothing. Man, there was nothing for us at Thrift Shitty. Nothing. There never is. There never is. Like, I don't even know the last time I really scored anything significant out of there. But, you know, you have to check. So if, if it's, if it, as my friend Jay Philly Retro says, which I love this saying, you don't know if you don't go. So you have to check, right? All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to go meet up with Teresa, but there's another Thrift Giant over there. I'm actually going to meet her in the parking lot of Thrift Giant, and uh, but I'm going to pop in there real quick and see if maybe we can score some Vinti toys. Well, damn, look at this guy. Holy cow. He's kind of ripped, though. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. They want $20 for him, but I have a feeling he's, like, missing his other robe you know all right let's see what else we got we got the big old ogre what's this nano titanics well, it's kind of an interesting looking atv Oh, we got the Hulk with the remote. You never see it with the remote. So the Yoda's mouth was like kind of ripping and tearing apart. He was definitely missing his robe and like his cane and accessories. I think he even came with a snake originally or something like that. So he was missing quite a bit of stuff. And uh, I actually saw him sell for 99 cents on eBay. Like no joke. I, he, there was a recent sold for 99 cents in that same condition. So not worth it all right guys this is it man i can't wait to show you what i'm going to pick up from teresa afterwards we're going to do some show and tell because this thing is just epic i do not have uh either one of these figures in my collection but one of them one of them is super rare and uh check it out all right here it is and then we got a jake rockwell let me put him down for a second yeah this is the only one i was missing I have the other two, so thank you. How freaking epic are those things? It almost, almost makes up for the My Pet Monster. The only difference is that the My Pet Monster, had I gotten it, I would have got it for like a $1.50 or something like that, something super cheap. So I did have to pay up on these figures she did give me a good deal on them, what I consider a fair deal. It wasn't like she gave them to me for 50 bucks or anything like that, but I feel like I got a really fair deal on it. So Teresa, if you're watching, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'm very excited to be adding these figures to my collection. All right, guys, let's do a little show and tell. All right, first up, we've got the Centurions. So this is my Centurions collection. The only like complete figure I have is Ace McLeod over here. Pretty sure he's got just about everything that he needs uh, for him to be complete. If I am missing anything, let me know guys. And uh, I'll see if I can find some parts on eBay. So we'll just kind of take a look at the back here, this little backpack with the wings and stuff like that. It's pretty cool, this little jet pack. And then this is Jake Rockwell. This is who I just picked up from Teresa. 
and he looks awesome. Now he's pretty bare bones. He doesn't have any accessories. So I'm gonna have to like, you know, source those out again, probably on eBay, but he did come with the detonator. So I got this, it's missing some pieces as well. So I'll see what I can do with that. And then of course I've got Max Ray, who, or who I so endearingly call Tom Selleck. So doesn't he look like Tom Selleck? It looks just like Tom Selleck. So um, I've got some parts and pieces from him, but I need helmets for Max and Jake. So I will definitely be looking into that. So, or if any of you have helmets out there uh, for either one of those figures, extra parts, let me know and maybe we can do a trade. All right, up next. I did wanna take a quick moment and just shine the spotlight on these two figures. So I picked him up at the bins today. I think it's General Bison or Colonel Bison. One, I don't know if he's a general or a colonel, but he's a street fighter, G.I. Joe. I know that much about him. So we've got him, and then this was the Power Ranger figure that I showed you guys earlier. Just a little closer look at him. So I got these figures, and then last, and certainly not least, and quite frankly, the biggest score of the day. I got a Bionatrops. Oh my God. I can't believe Teresa scored this in a thrift store. And the story is she purchased one of those giant boxes that are packed full of toys. You guys have seen me buy them in previous videos and she wasn't gonna buy it at first, but she turned the box upside down and on the bottom, it was loaded with 80s action figures, mainly Masters of the Universe, but it had like the Centurions like Jake Rockwell in it and stuff like that, a bunch of other things. Some Karate Kid action figures. This is the uh, the Beast Man I just picked up from the toy show, the North Dallas toy show. But uh, yeah, so it was packed full. And this figure right here alone is worth at least double what she paid for the box. So the box was like $60. She did get a discount on it, she said, for like $48. And uh, so she's going to make out like a bandit. Uh, Teresa is a reseller. So she's going to be selling the rest of the stuff in her eBay store, which I will link that in the comments below. So you guys can go check it out and see if she's listed any of the stuff yet. I imagine she has. But uh, oh my God, I'm so excited. And check out, this is my He-Man, my Battle Cat. Tila's going for a ride. Then we got Rio Blast from the North Dallas Toy Show that I just picked up recently. But Oh, wow. I can't believe I actually have this dude in my collection. Now, he is missing his guns. And if he had his guns and stuff, he's worth like over $200. So this is just absolutely amazing and definitely a jazz-worthy purchase. Well, that's all I got for you this week. I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did, do me a favor, smash the like button. And if you want to watch more videos just like this, then check out this next video.